constant pain. All right, I'm gonna show you where I'm at, what's going wrong, and where I'm going, and all that. And we got you going on the camera, looking good on the camera. So let's start. I have a Samsung Note 9. And uh, I have, uh, as you go to here, you can see I'm running Android 14. I am running um, uh, a uh, Noble. Noble's fantastic. Beautiful branch of Android. Um, and I have, th this is wrong. I do not have the snail call snap. No, what I actually have is the correct information down here. The Samsung XN uh, fucking 9810. Um, so... Uh, the normal version of Winulator, the normal branch, does not work correctly, and basically 3D stuff is worthless. But the Mali stuff, I've had good luck with. Honestly, I don't remember 100% how I configured everything, but I guess we'll take a look at my container real quick. So, because I, you know, yeah, I'm having input issues, but we're going to establish a baseline so you know what's going on. So, if we look down here, i got my screen size set to one half my resolution, and I'm actually running my phone at that resolution anyway, so it doesn't have to scale, help increase performance, and save battery life, and be able to read text! Um, so yeah, let's see, Vert, GL, Universal, I think there's a fault, Wine 3D, I'm using the ASLA audio driver so far, I'm having no complaints there, uh, I'm using a background image I took from this phone, and uh, I've been really struggling to get the input going here, so uh, you can see that this was a benchmark because I got Doom working, so anyways, uh, my main goal is I want to play the My House Doom game on my phone, uh, on the go, I got pretty close. So uh, I have not gotten DirectX working. In fact, if I run something that is DirectX uh, or OpenGL, fair chance is going to crash. But Vulkan's working, and Vulkan's working very, very well. In fact, I will demonstrate that's working real quick, and then I will demonstrate my problem. Problem one, keyboard not interfacing with the emulator. Which if I uh, um, were over Bluetooth, keyboard not doing nothing, I'm getting pissed off. Show me. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, it's on this side. That's what's going on. So if we look, we're, 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 we're happy here. Uh, I thought Alt-Tab did something, but it's not. Oh, that works only when you're in the desktop environment. Uh, when I do Windows Key R, which I'm not going to do right now. Um, so... Let's go to my uh, WinStuff folder. We're going to go to Doom. We're going to open up GZ Doom. And if you look at my options here, we are set to run Vulkan. And that was the, the big dealio here. And if I hit play game, which, yeah, I, I have it set up in ZDL to open the game normally that way, but it's a... Uh, So, first of all, no keyboard input at all. Keyboard not working at all. Got my mouse here. It's try it's acting like it's a touch screen. I think what's going on is the mouse should it should be capturing the cursor and holding it in the center, but it's not. Instead of trying and here here's where it gets weirder. So this is acting like when if you've ever tried using a touch screen to play a game, a mouse first person shooter, this is how it normally acts when you try dragging the cursor around. But the ironic part is, if you drag around on here, it works. I am not playing Doom with a fucking touchscreen. No. Um, now, there are some interesting quirks. Uh, speaking of interesting quirks, uh, since the keyboard's not working, I have to uh, kill things this way. Oh, yeah, input controls. I can get slight keyboard support by doing this. I have uh, uh, opened this up, and I have manually mapped a couple of keys, and this is insane. I'd have to literally map every single key on the keyboard to itself, and the part that's a pain in the ass, you don't just push the key, you have to go down, go through a drop-down menu and, and uh, scroll through all this, and if you push a button on the key, it doesn't jump to the first letter of it. It's a really slow and obnoxious process. It takes at me about 15 seconds to do a single key. There are 100 ish keys give or take a few on most keyboards um so that's that's clearly not an option and i can't really find much in the way of mouse support but there is something interesting so i'm gonna i'm actually gonna turn uh this on see if i can push escape and exit oh god what the hell's that i did i i i i done screwed up i did not know you could do that i don't know why you would want to do that oh okay Nope, escape's still not working. 
Okay. <coughs> We're gonna quit this. <sighs> Damn it! So, uh, there is something that affects it. I've tried this with the mouse and it makes no difference. But if I use the uh, on-the-go cable, set my keyboard to USB mode, which is getting less convenient for this being, you know, like a laptop that I could fit in my pocket if I have to start hooking up cables and stuff. I would like to be able to just drop my keyboard and mount wireless mouse on a desk and go, but this gets me closer to something functional. All right, so now we're set to USB and we're hardwired into the phone. We're working. Part of my keyboard has apparently crashed. All right, so now you can see the keyboard is interfacing with the operating system. We're getting closer. And if we go to my Windows stuff folder, Doom, GZ Doom, this is, this is so close to being exactly what I want. This is so close to me having a laptop in my pocket. But it's falling short where I need it. Alright. So. Yeah, the keyboard's working. I'm, I'm walking around with it. But I can't use the mouse for the fucking life of me. And I have n I, 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 everything I... This is, this is like, ah, uh, it almost doesn't suck. This is not how I want to play my games. Because again, I, I want to put my phone on my little belt clip thing and prop it up with the little kickstand, set it on a desk, and set a keyboard and mouse down and just fucking game for like a, an hour or something like that when I have time to kill. Um... Oh, also, it's not perfect. I can't use escape. Enter works, but escape doesn't. So, uh, that, that's one I can live with. Since I can rebind keys, I can probably just bind, I can probably manually bind another key to be escape, or a key combination to be escape through the input menu, but what I cannot figure out is how to get the mouse to work correctly. If we go in, fucking, uh, yeah, this, this is why I normally have my ports on the right side of the phone. I have it on the left side right now because it's, uh, it was charging off my PC a second ago. I did not want to open this. Oh, that's because it was still open from before. All right, uh, yeah, I've tried running some of these game presets. It didn't really do anything. Let's take a look at extras real quick. Yeah, not not nothing's really uh, standing out that it might help me here. Maybe there's something in the registry? Is there anything about... Wait, I think I saw something about the mouse in the registry. Mouse warp override. I think I did put that on enable. Let's put that on uh, disable. Let's see. Where me batch file, Morty? Eh? If, uh, this, if, uh, anybody guides me in the path where this can be, uh, fixed, I will, uh, make a follow-up video of this working functionally. Probably a port, what, camera? Also, another thing, does anybody know how to make my phone not show a cursor for the mouse when I'm inside a win you later? Very annoying. I can live with it, but I'd prefer to live without it. I think I'm gonna push Alt F4, that menu comes up. All right. Mouse options. Enable mouse, yes. Enable mouse and menus. Swap buttons, no. Cursor default. Can't see the cursor because of the crap. Yep, that's all my mouse options there. Escape doesn't work. So I have to click the back arrow up here. And this keyboard is missing the pause break button and I'm not 100% sure how to access it. Oh wait, here it is. All right, you know, let, 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 let's just do a little test right here. Uh, we do I think I maybe hold down function. Let's try that. Nope. All right. Maybe we do. Uh... I, I I don't know how to engage pause break. Or it's just maybe it's working. Who knows? Well, I can go Alt F4, which instead of closing it brings up this menu. Oh, or I could just do that. 
so yeah, we're, we're now hitting the point where I'm like out of ideas and I don't know what the hell is going on. I uh, have uh, I have looked in, oh yeah, if you look in game controllers, it just literally shows you the game controller menu. I'm going outside. Getting a phone call? Yeah. If we open up, uh, let's see, I believe this back over here brings me stuff. Alright, so uh, see we have magnify the input controls. So yeah, this is where I could probably remap my keyboard. I have tried turning relative mouse movement on and off. It doesn't really seem like it does anything. Uh, you know, if there's a way to maybe directly pass through my devices into the machine, I'd be perfectly okay with that. I actually, um, when I'm... When I'm playing a game, I don't necessarily want my mouse interacting with the entire, entire UI of the phone anyways. I, I... I... I don't know how to do this. There doesn't really seem to be option for passing through uh, hardware devices like vo most virtual machines have. But yeah, look, we just turned on re re relative mouse movement. Did that change anything at the touchscreen? Well, it seems to disable the touchscreen. That's... Actually, fingers crossed. Because you hate me? Oh. I believe it has crashed. Yeah, that's not a good sign when there's no task showing up in Task Manager. Is there a way to shut the operating system down from here? I, I, I use it in Samsung Dex mode pretty often, and it is easier to run like this. Oh, wait, it's not Windows Key R, it's Windows Key W. Um, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? What the fuck? I believe this light means my keyboard's retarded, and it had a stroke. And, uh... All right, so uh, I think this is literally the Windows key not working, which is making me more angry. Is there a key combination that locks Windows key out? That is the question. All right, I haven't used this camera in a long time. I thought I recorded a clip, and I didn't. It, it makes the recording sound and shows the screen, but you have to push it a second time for it to actually start. Uh, if the screen turns off, which I used to set a timer on that, but the camera hasn't been powered up in so long that it's... Uh, anyways, uh, so you hold down Function and Shift to reset the keyboard. And now, my Windows key button, I can't figure out how to actually control this, but my Windows key is not just lit up, and I have the ability to use the Windows key. Why was it disabled in the first place? Oh, finally! Okay, so if we're looking at mouse settings here, nothing suspicious, nothing suspicious. We got enhanced point of precision as a standard PC feature. No, nothing really stands out. You just look like run-of-the-mill mouse settings. Nothing making it act like a weird touchscreen or something. And annoyingly, no option to turn a cursor off inside a thing. And uh, we're going to open our start menu here and be like, actually, no, let's see. We're going to be like, uh, Mally, show me my Mally. See, this thing is almost a fucking laptop. So close. So close to being a laptop. It's not the laptop. Oh no, I, 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 it does not like me resizing windows in the fly. fly. Well, this is, this is fine. Because I'm so fresh, so fly. Piss me off, you die. Alright, so, uh, uh, this is extra tiny and actually hard for me to read, so I guess it's a good thing you have a close-up. I'm just curious if in dex mode, if it's any different. I, I, I can work around dex mode if it works better. Or maybe, just maybe, running it in a window will make it crack. No, I got Nintendo Switch games to play like this. And... The keyboard still works like this. And again, if I put it over Bluetooth, sh she won't have input. Unless I manually rebind every fucking key. This sucks. It's like, 
If this is a, this is teasing me with having fun while not giving me fun. Okay, so this is what happens when I try running the 3D demo thing. Uh, so it's not not perfect. In fact, I just crashed the whole thingy. Um, by the way, now Alt Tab works. Windows key works. Every uh, the the keyboard's working correctly since I did the reset. So those. UI frustrations I was having earlier was because the keyboard was being stroked. Yeah, actually, it, it, if I knew a way to directly pass through hardware in here, that, it, it, uh, there's got to be a way. What kind of virtual machine doesn't let you pass through USB devices? Virtual what if I want to mount a flash drive or a keyboard or a controller directly within the virtual environment itself instead of passing it through my phone's interface? I don't know. That seems reasonable. Seems entirely possible. They just didn't program it that way. <laughs> Really oh yeah, so uh, we can go up into uh, wine configuration. Hello, the truck. Let's see. Uh, anything about input? We got drives, audio, which just nothing really seems to be standing out here. If we look here, the GPU is very confused. Very confused. But I bet you the Vulcan demo freaking works. It doesn't. Okay. Boy, this GPU sure is a. Uh... Is there a Vulcan demo? No, there's no Vulcan demo. Vulcan's the only 3D thing I've got. <laughs> Needs at least OpenGL 4.0. Well, there, that's working. Yeah, it's like having an older GPU in a way. But Doom, one of the big games I wanted to play, ran freaking great. But I, I have no control. At this point, I'm wasting your time, but I, I, I'm dicking around here just to see, just to show you. Like I, I'm trying to find anything I can that might help my, my, my make me not want to curse my cursor. But there, there's I like no. There's like a, a variable inside Windows. Can but this isn't Windows is the yeah. annoying thing. This is this is wine dose. But like you might be able to like now this is a long shot, but you might be able to go in to like a program like Auto Hockey and just make it remove your cursor and make it invisible. Fuck okay. you. That's, that's not the, not you to the phone. Very good. That's like two lines of code. It's not that hard. Yeah, the mouse doesn't even show up as a device on here. What the fuck? See, th this is why I would actually like to have the mouse pass through the machine directly. Because I keep accidentally interacting with the phone's GUI when I am not attempting to. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This is annoying. I'm about to give up. Maybe I'll just use the regular ass PC. But the thing is, I might have my regular ass PC now, but what about when I'm on the go? Huh, motherfucker?